Hello, welcome to the History Project. My name is George. And I'm Pete. And we're here to tell you all about our smuggling architecture project. Locally, many contradictory opinions exist relating to the use of tunnels in and around the Middle Street area of Deal that were supposedly used to store and move contraband in the years gone by. Some people say that you cannot tunnel under Middle Street because the ground is too soft, whilst others claim to have played in the tunnel networks that litter the streets. What is the truth? The History Project intends to put this debate to bed once and for all. This summer, an investigation like no other will be launched, with Pete and George joining forces with local historian Stuart Smith. Hello good people, uh, my name's Stuart Smith and as you appreciate the boys have dragged me in on this. I was lucky enough to be born and bred in Deal and I mean like all of you, love and adore this, this little town that we live in. And when the, the boys approached me with this project about the influence of smuggling on the architectural history of Dill, it was absolutely exciting. When Dill grew and became the lovely place that we, we, we know today, smuggling ruled the roost. I mean, it was in the 17th and 18th centuries that the, the town became a big naval port because of all the shipping that was stopping here. Then there was all the supplying of goods and shuttles and everything else, but mainly it was smuggling. People didn't have social security, they, d they had to live on their wits and smuggling was just such a good form of income. And the town that we know today grew up around smuggling and the people with the money were the smugglers. And so consequently when the houses were built and designed the smugglers could do, I won't say carte blanche, but they could influence the, the architecture tremendously. And so there were rat runs built, there was hidey holes built, there was concealed basements, uh, there was all sorts of little bits and pieces that were built into the houses as they were built. And what to me is fascinating is to actually have the chance to, to look at the architecture. And when I say that, because it's the only place in England where it was built by smuggling money or with a great influence of smuggling money, it's the only town in England. And this will be an absolutely fantastic chance for us to see how far that influence went. Absolutely amazing and it's a wonderful chance and it's something that we can, everyone can be involved in, everyone can have a say and I think the result is going to be quite eye-opening for all of us. And photographer and researcher Sharon Powell. Hi, my name's Sharon Powell and I was born in Deal. I love Deal and I can trace my family back to this area since the 1700s. As a child I just devoured local history uh, the East Kent Mercury, the local paper. I used to sit as a child with a big broadsheet paper reading that and just reading every single bit that I could of it. And I grew up listening to the stories from my grandparents and my parents of the smuggling in Dill, always being told that you could go from one end of the town to the other through the tunnels. I don't know if that's true, but I'm just delighted to be part of this project to find out just once and for all what is really down there and so we can document this, we can do an exhibition and we can pass it on to future generations. The team will be working alongside both Dill Maritime and Local History Museum and the Dover Museum and are encouraging the whole community to roll their sleeves up and get involved. The aim of the project is to thoroughly investigate the particular areas of Dill which are linked to the town's smuggling past and present the results in an exhibition in the not so distant future. The team are searching for possible hidey holes, false doors, hidden trap doors, cellars that are or were once connected with surrounding properties and any other architectural treasures. Of course, ideally, they are looking for actual tunnels and who knows, maybe they'll find some contraband that is still hidden. So folks, does your property have any unusual features? Do you have a basement? Or perhaps your property used to have one, but it's been long since filled with shingle. 
Maybe you even have a tunnel or the remains of one. If you have a story to tell, then the History Project would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks again to our sponsors. If you would like to sponsor us, reach hundreds of thousands of people every single month, and help support our project at the same time, contact us for details.